Dear students, uh, kindly switch off your mic and the video. Central uh, sir, your background is good, sir. Very uh, Yeah, you. I am in ground, sir. Hello, <laughs> okay. Screen sir, I am sending now. Screen sir, sir. Okay, okay. Sir, you can keep it in uh, sharing, sir. No problem. Yeah, yeah, one minute. Screen visible, sir? Ah, it is, sir. Yes, sir, it is visible, sir. Okay, sir, okay. Hi, Prem, madam. Sir, good morning, sir. Okay, madam. Good morning. So, Janan, sir, arm chalna liya? Arm chala, sir. Okay, okay. So, very good morning to one and all person here. Uh, behalf of uh, Department of Mechanical Engineering and Management, I would like to welcome all of you. Of this wonderful program, a short form um, problem solving idea set, which is given by Mr. Sendum Parani, sir, general manager, Julian C. F. Pass. So, this is a wonderful session, I think. We may all enjoy this uh, speech and the ideas. So, first of all, I would like to call out that the Janathana, sir. Give the welcome address uh, for this. Afternoon, uh, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you. Dear students, dear students, kindly hear me. Please switch off your mic and video. Hatter King. Sir, I am going to mute you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So, very good morning to all of you. I take pleasure. And privilege to welcome Mr. Selvam Palani, General Manager, Engineering, CA Tires. Uh, thank you, sir, for accepting our invitation uh, to be with us today to deliver a uh, lecture on uh, problem solving and ideation. It's a very relevant topic of today's scenario. Uh, I welcome you, sir, for this, uh, and I welcome all the participants. Uh, heads of the departments, heads of various divisions, faculty members, and my dear students uh, for this uh, workshop on problem solving and ideation. And I thank our principal for uh, giving support to contact uh, many such events under the Institutions Innovation Council. And I also thank our uh, management for supporting uh, to contact uh, uh, these kinds of events uh, regularly. And I Welcome, and I give small introduction about this. Uh, as I told uh, in the many uh, programs, this is uh, one of the calendar activities conducted under Institution Innovation Council under the Ministry of Education Innovation Cell. Uh, today's topic is problem solving and ideation. This is one of the important process in the design thinking. We already had a workshop on design thinking where uh, we have seen there are five steps. First is empathize and second is define. Then third is ideate. So this is where today SAR is going to elaborate because it is very, very important. The ideation is where you get lots of uh, ideas and they will try to solve your problems. So empathize phase is uh, you will get to know what is what are the problems of people then you define the problem faced by the uh, uh, 
people because it is a people centric approach we are all trying to uh, give solutions for the problems faced by our uh, uh, people so after defining the problem how to solve that is uh, today's uh, topic so ideation but then after that there are other two steps prototype and test once you solve the problem then prototyping and testing may not be that much difficult so this is the crucial uh, stage of the design thinking so sar with many years of uh, experience uh, is going to take this session uh, thank you sir and i uh, welcome all the participants uh, uh, those who have joined we are very eager to listen from you sir thank you thank you very much thank you so much uh, i am audible and my screen is visible yes sir yeah sir, so uh, thank you sir uh, thank, thank you janathan sir, sir uh, thank yes, you sir. for your wonderful welcome address uh, dear students uh, watch carefully the listen carefully the session so you may get uh, most innovative ideas from him so finally you may ask uh, your doubts and questions in the chat box <coughs> now i call upon uh, Hi, Priya, madam, to give a brief introduction about uh, Selvam sir during this. Hi, Priya, madam. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Um, it's my pleasure to introduce the speaker for this session, uh, Mr. Selvam Pahani. He is the general manager of Fiat Limited, uh, and uh, he is a uh, he is a gold medalist in both undergraduate and uh, postgraduate program, and he is an expert in CPA. And a project management professional, he is the project coordinator for Global Lightweight Network. Uh, now I request to take over the session, sir. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you, a wonderful uh, madam. I mean, Sai madam, for this wonderful uh, introduction. And I would sincerely thank to uh, the uh, principal and the uh, MD of this college. And uh, Mr. Ramesh sir, Dhananthan sir, and uh, Mr. Sandil sir, for giving this the wonderful opportunity. Of course, indeed, this is my you know second time I'm coming to this campus and meeting you all in this forum. Of course, this one one and a half or one hour fifteen minutes will be very short. In fact, everybody knows, and I'm going to give you only a glimpse about it. I'm not going to teach very elaborately. Uh, Dr. B. Dhananthan sir has given a lot of insights about the the innovative thinking, critical thinking, and all uh, steps involved from that one. So let me give more of uh, you know like small video clippings and some of the live examples so that you now you will be able to catch up the what is the context of it because of course we know the content the content is today available everywhere so let me uh, move on this uh, yeah so i am putting this on a full slide view First, let me give a small intro about and many of my details have been explained. I'm not going to much take uh, here. I'm also an author for writing a book on entrepreneurship, which will be coming on. Uh, sir, it is right? still in uh, this mode, sir, not in full screen mode. Yeah, one minute, sir. I'll reshare ah. it. Yes, sir. Now it has moved. <clears throat> I'll reshare it because sometimes okay. it happens. Is it come to full mode? Not sir. yet, sir. Is it come to full mode? No, full no, mode. Sir. No, sir. Still, it is in entire PPT. Yeah, I'll share the full entire screen. Yeah, maybe that could be. Yeah, that will be better, sir. Share the entire screen. Now it should be visible. Am I right? Yes, sir. It is perfect now. Yeah. So I'll not take much time on that one. I have uh, been going for many colleges, giving these kind of uh, programs and the mindset on on the employability, and I've been uh, received a couple of awards in the last uh, uh, three four months, especially on my skill developments and on the talk platforms. And I'm also into incubation advisory in few colleges, and, and I'm upcoming. 
and i also spoke on the uh, digital expo in uk uh, live okay so let us now go about the today's program of problem solving and ideation that's what we are today going to touch upon and we will touch upon what has been by before going for a uh, this program on the problem solving we will understand that what is the need etc then one by one you can ask me doubts etc so i am going to run up a video before itself so it gives more of clarity than explaining because today the picture and the video gives more clarity uh, let me know in september once, 2016 a storm damaged south australia yeah hope the video audio is also available yes sir yes sir yeah so just watch this uh, eight this 10 minutes specific transmission infrastructure where almost the entire state lost its electricity supply the crisis made international headlines and politicians were looking everywhere for an immediate solution imagine spending an entire week without electricity that's almost impossible in the 21st century Elon Musk claimed that he can solve Australia's energy problem by building world's largest battery. And when he was challenged if he's serious enough, he tweeted, "Tesla will get the system installed and working in 100 days from contract signature, or it's free." If you take a look at any billionaire, you will find out that they became one by solving a huge problem. Facebook solves the problem of connecting people, at least in some ways. And the more people you help, the more money you're going to make in return. And that's how capitalism is designed. Take Amazon for example. The company solves a basic problem, which is making shopping a lot easier and faster by bringing everything to your smartphone, where you can order whatever you want with a single click, and it will be delivered to your doorstep. Elon Musk, on the other hand, is solving the problem of transitioning to renewable energy by building electric cars, or the problem of getting to space. As we solve more and more problems, the world gets better and better. However, there are still plenty of problems left for us to solve because with every generation comes new challenges. So let's find out what are the problems that you can solve today that can turn you into a billionaire. Number one. internet connection Now, this might sound a bit weird because it seems like we have already solved this problem and there is not much left except what the big guys can do if you're watching this video almost everyone around you has an internet connection however the internet is something that most people take for granted because it's a luxury since there's still a huge chunk of the population that does not have internet access currently There are 7.6 billion people on the face of the earth, but only 4.5 of them have access to the internet, which means there are over 2 billion customers that are left over. And if you just solve the internet connection for at least 100 million of them, you will definitely be making billions. You might be wondering why on earth the big guys aren't tackling this market. There must be a strong reason, right? And that's true. Internet is not cheap. It requires billions of dollars to build the infrastructure. And since the rest of the world that's still not connected to the internet are the rural areas or the poor underdeveloped countries, it doesn't make sense for these big companies to throw billions and wait many more years at least to return their principal when 5G revolution is happening right under their nose. Well, if it needs such a huge capital, it's not an option for the average person. right and that's the point the problem is to come up with a much more affordable way to deliver an internet connection to these areas one of the people who's trying to solve this problem is Elon Musk with his startling project he plans to launch 42000 satellites into low earth orbit around the planet with satellites that will provide internet connection to every corner of the world The company has already launched 713 satellites, but that doesn't mean there isn't a room for you to compete. Starlink internet will be expensive at the beginning. SpaceX will first be competing with traditional companies in developed countries, which still leaves a room for others to come up with a more affordable internet connection. Number 2, brain machine interface. Internet has clearly changed the world. and smartphones made us incredibly smart. Whatever you want to know is right there at your fingertips. 
you want to know how a car engine works, even if you know nothing about cars, just Google it. You want to find out how the International Space Station was built. Wikipedia can help you. The only problem we have is the time it takes us from asking the question to finding the answer. You need to pick up your phone, type the question, and then scroll through all of the pages that Google shows you. The challenge that we're trying to solve now is how do we reduce the time from the moment you ask the question to when you find the answer on the web? One way is through the voice assistance, because speaking is a lot easier and faster than typing, which is why all of these tech giants have jumped on board to compete in this market. Voice assistants are undoubtedly convenient, but their use is limited. You can't rely on voice assistants for personal stuff in public. That's why there must be a better solution, which is connecting internet directly to your brain. It sounds too futuristic and unreal, but it's already happening right under our nose. Companies like Neuralink has made tremendous progress in this field. Since we have reached the final version of smartphones, BMI, or the brain-machine interface, is naturally the next big thing. Number three, asteroid mining. It might not seem realistic, and most people imagine that it's not going to happen in our generation. But that's not entirely true. The world population is about to hit 8 billion people. And experts predict that by 2050, there are going to be 10 billion of us. Our biggest problem here on Earth is that we have limited resources, and our only source of resources is Earth. For most of our existence, there were only a small number of us, but due to technological innovation, the population has skyrocketed. Just 120 years ago, the world's population in September. Yeah. <clears throat> So I'm switching to next slide because this video will be 10 minutes video, but you would have understood that from this video that when you solve bigger problems, you will get more value back in terms of money or uh, appreciation or felicitations or much, much things. And who is getting these things back is like if you see Elon Musk, Steve Jobs, Bill Gates or Infosys, these kind of people and even take Ratan Tata, Mahindra, many people they are solving bigger problems. So when they solve bigger problems, you will get more monetary as well as non-monetary back. So if you see that everything is starting from a problem. So now, when we now understand about the problems, the solutions, the resource, now I'm going to just tell about what is a startup. A startup is typically, it's begun by one founder or solo runner, and it can have many founder also, and you have to solve problems. That's the reason today we are, this session is happening only for the startup or incubation sort of topics. Because tomorrow, you people, all engineers are going to work under a company where a lot of innovation will happen, a lot of problems you are going to solve. Or you will be in a startup or you will be in a solopreneur or you will be an entrepreneur where you can start a young company where you are going to solve the bigger problems and for that, the demands are more. If you're going to solve smaller problems, you'll get small monetizations. People should not cry that I'm not getting more salary because you are solving smaller problems. I can tell one live example is, suppose if you sell a water bottle in a railway station, you get 10 rupees. The same water bottle, if you sell in a five-star hotel, you get 200 rupees because the value addition is more on the hotel than the railway station. So just another video uh, clip about what is what startups. Startup? So this will tell about uh, what is startup. Then before that, I'm just pitching you that this kind of needs which is going to trigger you the problem of the solving. Let us watch a quick video of some three, four minutes. You must have heard about companies like Coursera, Flipkart, Airbnb, Facebook, and Uber. These companies are based on different niches. But what unites them? All these companies started developing and validating scalable business models with initial funding from their own pockets, families, and friends. They are termed as startups. So startup can be defined as a young company founded by one or more entrepreneurs to develop unique products or services into the market with initial funding from the founders or their friends and families. Why have startups seen an exponential rise in the past few years? Starting a business has now become a trending activity. 
10% of people from the 18 to 34 age range want to quit their monotonous task and establish their own empire. But even after knowing the risks involved in demand, technology, execution, and funding, money matters. Traditional corporate ladder climbing doesn't suit them. Starting their own companies gives them an option to pursue their dreams rather than getting lodged in mundane activities. Easy availability of resources. The internet is surely a boom. Right from the top investors and resources to the daily terms of a startup, it has become extremely easy to get started. The 106 million Google answers are surely enough for anyone too. Types of startup, unicorn, decoraren. Coined by venture capitalist Aileen Lee in 2013, a privately owned startup that is valued over $1 billion is known as a unicorn. During those times, a company reaching the point of $1 billion was rare. Hence, Lee chose the mythical animal, unicorn, to depict the rarity of such cream layer ventures. However, over time, resulted in the introduction of terms like decacorn, a venture that has a valuation of $10 billion and hectocorn, companies valued over $100 billion. Decacorns are the evolved versions of unicorns. Uber, Dropbox, Snap, SpaceX, WeWork, etc. are some of the renowned decacorns. There are a total of 197 unicorns in the world, the top five worldwide being Uber, Didi Chuxing, CMO. Yeah, so what now is a startup? you would have got a fair idea about a startup or I just given a glimpse. Now we are going for what is innovation. Okay. So anybody can unmute and tell that what is the one which is available in the middle picture or what is this telling about it? Some of the students can unmute and tell. Hi, everyone or anyone? Students, please interact. There will not be any right or wrong answer. You can. Yeah, I'm going to tell the right answer. Don't worry. What is this actually? What these pictures are there? Okay, having a shortage of time, I'll tell that when we start from the civilizations and the next one is called the step well, which basically will be in Rajasthan or in Gujarat, we call wow, wow is a type of well. And next one is the normal typical well, which we have seen our villages, maybe the new generation might be seeing very less. And next one is the, uh, the jet pump and submersible pump. See how it's got innovated. If imagine that when the water is running on a river, people have to go, run, walk, fetch it. If that's going to be on a typical next phase of the step well, people have to walk down and get the water and what the energy they have to spend. And next is you have to pull it up the water and it not be feasible to get the water which is 200 meters below. But whereas the uh, jet pump can able to take from 100 meters level, but submersible pumps can even take 300 or 400 meters level of water with one touch this is what called revolutions from the innovative from the from the revolutions if you see that people are moving people are innovation innovations happen over a period of time unless we have a very good idea converting idea into action and became a product so now we are going into a problem because today topic is more on the problem solving first we need to know what is a problem Everybody say that from the day we get up in the morning, every problem, small problem, big problem, problem in the college, office, personal life, many things are people defining as a problem. The definition says that something that has to be solved or it's an unpleasant, undesirable condition and that need to be corrected. Even if you're not happy, it's a problem. It can be corrected. You don't know how to solve a mathematical problem, an algebra, a statistics. When there is more raining, you have to carry an umbrella. That is what you can see that the red color, the jack puzzle, the jig puzzle is the solution. For every problem, there will be a solution. That is what today we are going to see that how we are going to solve a problem and get solutions. In this perspective, I'll give a small video which you will give a thought process about how a problem is solved by 
an animal which is not having sixth sense if the animal can solve this problem which is not having sixth sense why we cannot do it that's an insight about it please see this video and let me back problem solving is a method teachers can use to guide students through any kind of problem there are four steps to problem solving define the problem make a plan put the plan into action and check the result as an example you'll see how these ants use the four steps the first step is to clearly define the problem to understand what the goal is and what is keeping you from reaching that goal the ants want to move this cookie into their anthill but it's too big to fit the second step is to make a plan for solving the problem. This step includes talking about information and ideas that will be helpful. The ants decide to break the cookie into small pieces and move them into their anthill. The third step is to put the plan into action. They break up the cookie and move the pieces. And the fourth step is to check the result. It looks like it's working. Sometimes the plan does not solve the problem. For example, this piece is still too big to fit. But that's okay. The four steps may need to be done more than once. It's an ongoing process until a solution is found. Define the problem. Make a plan. Put the plan into action and check the result. Yeah, so you would have understood that how an ant is solving a problem with four-step approach. We will also see a similar uh, sort of problem solving. If you see in this image, every somebody can see that it's a world map. And somebody can tell that solution is in the middle of it. And each and every country has got one, one sort of problem you can say or one one sort of challenges or some or association strategy many things are there in this map this is how we are slowly moving for a problem solving approach today there are n number of problem solving approach but let us use the method used by the ant there is a small mistake on the, the fourth this thing uh, please leave it uh, one is the first is to define the problem okay the problem many people don't know how to define a problem I can tell one example of how to define a problem. Okay, we all know that one problem is somebody walking in your workshop, and of course, in, in the in the in the I mean your fab, school or institution or the lab setup, people will be wearing shoes. And if you are on the you know very heavy duty machine shop, people will be wearing safety shoes. Even industry also same. But even then there is an oil on the floor somebody fallen on the floor it's got slipped what is the reason behind it can anyone tell what is the reason why that person fell down due to slippery somebody can unmute and tell please the answer is wrong also not an issue anyone Dear yes, students, uh, I already told you, please watch carefully and uh, attend uh, the program. Huh? If anybody knows the answer, please give me the answer. Anyone knows the answer? Why you are walking on a shop floor or you are walking on a workshop, there is oil on the floor and you fell down. What's the reason? In typical thinking, people will say the problem is you walked on the oil, oil on the floor, the shoe bottom is not having the buttons, the grip is not there. Various answers will come, various solutions will come because the problem is not defined properly. The reason is we are not finding the root cause. When you find the root cause, you can able to define the problem in a right way when the problem is not defined pro pro properly it will lead for wrong solutions if you see 
the typically the answer will be that the reason for the slippage is there is no adequate friction between your shoe on the floor that's all even when there is more oil is there people will not fall why because the friction between your shoe and the floor is adequate when there is a friction is getting reduced you are getting slipped the same thing if you define the problem in a proper way you will able to analyze and go to the next level is the solution if you don't tell properly he got slipped where he got slipped he may be walking on the shop floor on a particular spot he may be going very fast very slow when you define a problem that this gentleman fell down while he is walking on the floor shop floor on the spilled oil then the solutions can be done for getting the solutions there are n number of solutions available like yy analysis forum analysis 4d dmac and you name it a lot of brainstorming and the, the lot of ideas will come on the later stage at how we will get a solution similarly we should have an alternate solution suppose we don't have a solution for that issues we can have an alternate solutions example i have a power cut in my home i cannot go and fight with the ab board i have an alternate solution i have an ups with me and i can switch on the ups and i can run it or i can have a no my battery charge previous night i know that's going to happen i can do in a different way when you have a different solutions for alternates generate alternate solutions don't depend on one solution starts a problem when we go on a road when the road is getting terminated we will always stand there take an alternate path and go next is evaluate and select alternative we have got many alternatives example is i told power power failure or if you are uh, having a uh, some other breakage on equipments how you can able to replace its spare parts how you can put another spare parts how you can do and substitute can we run with some time without that spares that call we have to evaluate that one whether that is safe it is unsafe if it is unsafe we should not do it if it is a call we can take it's a, if, if sometimes what will happen when your college is working on a network there can be redundant system one network is got failed the other one will work so you evaluate this is you evaluate your solutions and you fix on oh this is my best solutions you are getting now problem now you find find out the shoe issue where you got slipped now you are going to take whether i am going to wipe my floor whether i am going to uh, improve my sole of the shoe example tomorrow there is one oil industry in that oil rig there will be full of oil spilled on the floor how will you design a shoe for that company that's a challenge so there you cannot tell no oil is there because the challenge is given to you that you have to design a shoe for that company in that environment then the fourth point is implement and follow up the solutions there can be some tweaking there can be small change you have to do the fourth step unless you implement it if you see that in the ant story the fourth step if you see the ant cannot able to break the chunk of the cookies the biscuit it want to take inside the uh, the ants nest inside okay and it not able to move inside what is the reason because there is some problem it not able to break the cookies maybe the cookies they would have got some nuts there the nut cannot be broken it would have been eat it should eat it so they have to change the strategy so this is an one strategy i'm explaining you about a problem solving it is basically called as asq's four step model american society of quality has derived this methodology you can use it in your uh, projects on your life, real life on everything so what are the other steps in problem solving tools or what are the other tools i can use it is fishbone diagram people call it ishikawa diagram flow chart you can put all the problem in a flow chart and you can have a mapping strategy maps you got a mental maps idea maps concept maps double diamond solving problem charting software mind managers various solutions are there there are 20 30 solutions are there i just listed only a few number in this one so that i can take you through few problem solving methods so here i have taken one of the resource the problem solving can happen through one resource that all the tools is we are using a double diamond method of showing how a problem can be solved this has got on a two phase that the design of right thinking and design things in a right way that's one is a thinking process other one is a design process okay so problem phase and solution phase 
and in between will be the exploring and defining phase. So first we are we have called it as 4D principle in this one. Discover in the first phase is that insight into the problem. Find the problem. Elaborate the problem. What is happening? Expect from then you explore and define about do a, mostly this is our research band. In this one you have to do only collecting data, strategies, stratifications. And if arrived at narrow down, if you see here, you are narrow down to a problem definition. So once your problem definition is very clear, then you start developing the potential solutions. Then you get, or then the solution will be delivered. This solutions will receive a lot of feedbacks, positive feedbacks, negative feedbacks. Then you converge with all the positive and negative, and that became a solutions. This is what we have going to see. So what is the problem in arriving solution is, it's not only the method, we many people feel that the mindset is a problem. People say that, no, I can't do this. This will not work. This is not good. This is very tough. Always people have in the mindset that they think that they cannot able to do it. When your mindset is on a negative way, you will not able to get solution because you have to be very positive on this note. And you have to have a growth mindset that I can try different strategy. It's really my best work and I may take some time and my more effort. Please don't bother about failures. Failures is part of your life. Please don't procrastinate. And second is, third is, please don't wait for perfection. Start doing it. Progress, progress, progress. Things will automatically move and it will go. And let me define what is the 4D or the double diamond method is you are discovering in helping the people to understand rather simply assuming the, what is a problem by speaking to them, by spending time with the people and who are affected by the issues. Who are affected by the issues? It can be you. It can be others. It can be the whole world. What Alan Musk is doing when there is a problem in the universe, sustainability, there is a lot of carbon emission. Now he is working towards getting the sustainable world by giving EV vehicles, battery, solar. So that's the, he was spending and he is working for the problem of others. Define it, get a lot of discovery phase, a lot of challenges in there. Debate yourself. You get more challenge, put everything and you develop and you get a lot of answers from the people. Define the problems, get inspiration from from problem co-designing collaborate with people and finally with the delivery delivery involves that it should be testing in a small way rejecting it prototyping it fine-tuning it correcting it and improving and finally the product will be ready or the idea will be ready or the problem will be solved now let us think about thinking process what is thinking thinking out of the box so get an idea or solve a problem you should think the idea out of the box. So here is a small exercise I'm just giving to uh, no, people who have done on the many of the exercise that there is a nine point uh, points there that we need to connect this all these points without taking your pen and you should have only limited you should have only limited number of lines. If you see on the right side that gentleman has solved the problem he went out or outside of the box he has not started and he has not only connecting the dots alone, he has gone out range, but nobody told that you should go out of the boundary because that's not the rule. So you need to think out of your boundary, you can able to get a lot of insights. One more exercise for the people who are listening is, this is a small exercise for a mental exercise. Please understand that this gentleman has found a solution in four lines there are solutions available to connect all the dots with one line. If you can find and tell to your faculty tomorrow, it will be fine. And I don't want to tell it, go home and find. That's the thinking for yourself today. Nine dots all connected with single line. That's your challenge for today. So how we can improve this thinking processes? Ask Question like a child. The problem is today we are not asking 
the questions or answers or imaginations or anything like a kid. If I tell a kid to solve this problem, the kid will quickly solve because we are constrained with our mental boundary. We are thinking that, okay, only this is what I have to go. Like in a horse, we are tied on our eyes. We are only going narrow. Simplify the problem. The problem will be very, very complex. If you can tell your problem to a six-year-old kid and if you can able to convince you, persuade that six-year-old kid, and that's simple. Don't tell that very elaborately and people are uh, not you know, very e e elaborately and you're not very expert in understanding all these things. This kind of explain the problem in simple way, it's pretty easy. Example, I told the if you are not able to uh, get a friction between the shoe on the floor, you're going to slip. The same way, if you're uh, igniting a matchsticks, if there is no friction between the two, it will not get up. It will not light. There could be several reasons or the countermeasure for it. You can have a no wet, you should have a good quality, etc. That's all different. But unless you have simplified the problem, you will not get an answer. Next is ask in different, different way. Scratch a problem in the precedence. You have to have a perspective mind. Think out of the box. Ask more questions. Different way, not a normal routine way. Routine, routine is the enemy of innovation thinking. Always go in a reverse way, forward way, multiple way. And ask why. The fourth is ask why. You should ask why I am doing this one. Why I should do this one. Why not other way? Why not this way? How can be better? Why this? These kind of things. Asking why is very important in life. If you want, because you are an engineer, if you want to go and grow and rich in this world, ask why, more why. That's going to create a big, big motive and that's going to be inspiring things in your life with you. Flux your muscles. Even I couldn't able to tell somebody, Brian, you write in the reverse way, A, B, I, N, R, juggling words. See, before doing some ideation process, people should flux their muscles. Somebody will have got empty way, even somebody can play. Video game, I'm not telling do play eight hours. No, maybe five ten minutes. Somebody will play with the worlds. Today, there's something called toodles. A lot of things are coming. And the crosswords. People have to flex your muscles. If you don't flex your muscles, it will be rigid. Then it becomes a static. What is this ego? Why the process of thinking or why this is not happening? Because we do have, we have an ego. I will not go and talk with my friends and I will share my problem. I will not talk with my relatives. I will not talk with my colleagues. I, don't, I will not talk with my mastermind. Einstein is telling the more the knowledge, lesser the ego. Lesser the knowledge, the more the ego. Ego should not be there for that is a one killer for this kind of ideations. If you don't share and take all the inputs from everybody, it will not happen. Take a class. If you order some subjects, deliver a class for somebody you can able to uh, refresh your knowledge, you can able to deliver for others. Do a free writing. What are the problems? I can tell you whatever you think, you ink. Only thinking should not be there. Put it on a pen and paper, computers, on a timers, pressure keeping writing. You force your brain. You think you can write a blog also. I always recommend people should read and write more, especially from colleges. Draw a picture about a problem. Take some crayons, take some markers. Start drawing about the problems. Mind map. Mind map we are going to cover on later stage on a elaborately. Mind map is nothing but having a linkages from the core link to the sublink to tree links by using circles, colors, words, phrases, and interlocking the ideas. And finally, I'll say to get an idea, have a walk on a road, on a park, think of something, listen to some music, and that's going to change your way of thinking. The way of thinking has got three, mind and what you might and your muscle. Move all things in a coordinated way. Your mind has got meditations. You have got a specialist program, muscle, the mind muscle should move on. This is of the method of making your mind. And this already explained you in a short way here. Once again, I'm telling that the exercise for the student is connect all the nine dots, four straight lines or fewer without lifting your pens, without retracting your path. There are some solutions already given. So initially the solution was uh, four and the bottom solution, somebody had thought, gone out of the box, they made three, 
but challenge is given is you for the one and someone can make the one and you can show to your faculty tomorrow or not monday or you can send a whatsapp to them now let us come to we found the problem we found the method of finding a problem we found to the kind of analysis of a problem now we have found a problem now we have to get a solution or we have to get a breakthrough by an ideation idea now what is idea everybody has got lot of thoughts and idea but these ideations are not refined or defined so let us see what is the definition of idea the idea is a process where you generate ideas and solution through a session is called as a sketching prototyping brainstorming brain writing was possible idea the wealth from the ideas is and you can take ideas from other others also and also mr dr janathan explained about the design thinking the critical thinking where the different phase of ideas has been put in five step or six steps where the ideation idea became an ideation the process of idea converting to a solution will become an ideations what are the other methods or the tools where, where we can get the uh, ideation processes by brainstorming the worst idea storyboard mind mapping brain writing questioning sketching analogies scamper and body storm so we will go and touch upon on the few topics about this one so this is a gentleman who really brought to the world what is meant by mind mapping a tony busan the tony busan says learning how to learn is life's most important skill people many people don't know how to learn yes i also what like you people in the college or in the many real life they don't know what to they learn they learn something and they'll say no i'm not getting salary i'm not getting good job etc because they are not learn learn the right skill you are very fortunate you are in this college the college is arranging lot of faculty external industry connects you are learning right skills so that you can also do this mind mapping for your anything in your life it can be your uh, your personal life your hobby your educations your finance your health your wealth all this process mind mapping can be used and i am also using mind map in my laptop and many of my projects i run and many of my life problems or my goal settings i am doing in mind mapping so how to make a mind map is by simply choose the topic of mind map and place it in the middle of the drawing come up with 3 to 5 main ideas then evenly space them on a circular format and draw a line from the mind map topic to each main ideas brainstorm the supporting details like idea task questions and draw lines connecting each ideas to it i know you all know how it's done just typically let me tell about one challenge is faced in a small industry and how a mind mapping is done so this mind mapping is connected with customers cash flow value resource systematizing governance staff that's me the owner the marketing and thinking let us take about one the main tree from that sub tree we can go the nodes i can say the customer so for the customer we are targeting 80 20 rule so there's revolutions and problems relationship i'm building maintaining trust and the new paid economy tracking finding on time cash flow paid on time rates charges value service i'm giving tangible in this one can be converted as an excel or a software so problems are drilled down to the main goals an activity a task and it's called as in project management wbs work breakdown structure if you see the final one the breakdown the works are breakdown into structures and we track in each and every point that became your kpi key performance of indications or follow up systems so this is very one of the powerful tool the people are using if you take my time how i am managing my life i am a owner me i have got work life success time value work life balance let go that means i am not bother about that activity 
delegated activity i give it to my subordinates that's what i am balancing my life that's called my work life balance and how i am balancing my time on a business i'll be on in time and out time that's how i'm balancing my time if you take on government regulations license quality assurance compliance and it's getting connected to the process this is how the mind mapping should be done for any problems if you are facing in your life or if you want any solutions you can do this mind mapping uh, techniques so how it goes to this thinking process unless you think it then you ink it the thought basically i'm going one step back i'm talking about idea 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 what is an idea idea comes from a thought the thought is a piece of reasoning product by thinking at times the word refers the way of thinking is that the uh, particular class of people and they express that it is a western thought it's not western thought nothing is there people of western has been given a structure from that the thought people say that everybody has got around 6200 thoughts every day it's not mine it's a study done by the famous institutes but we are not capturing all the 600 6200 thoughts but few ideas we are not able to nurture it imagine that when we have got thoughts the thoughts to be converted as an idea idea to be nurtured brought in shape and it will be finally shaped into a solutions so we'll have a small brainstorming video here instead of i'm explaining in theory this video if you have a real problem brainstorming is a good way to come up with a solution or two as the name suggests the idea is that you storm on the neural pathways through the brain to pick a lot of thoughts quickly and intuitively it's best to do this with a group of diverse people so you have lots of different brains to explore this leads to the creation of more ideas and maybe new solutions before you start make sure you solve the right problem einstein said to solve a problem I would spend 55 minutes defining the problem and then 5 minutes solving it. Tina Seelig, a well-known professor on creativity, teaches to define a problem by reframing the question. For example, by simply asking why. Say you brainstorm ideas for a birthday party for your mum. You can ask, why do we organize birthday parties? You might then realize that we do them to make people feel special. Then ask How can I make my mum feel special? Now a totally different idea might come up. Once you define the real problem, start. Here are three ways. Guided group brainstorming. First, get some markers and a whiteboard or some post-it notes. Then invite the participants. These are your brains. Company bosses, teachers or other authorities are advised to stay outside or facilitate. their authority can intimidate shy people from speaking up then lay out the four ground rules of brainstorming one go for quantity get out all the ideas no matter how silly two withhold criticism there are no bad ideas three welcome crazy ideas the wilder the better four build on other people's ideas listen to them first and then add Yes, and now you can start. Write the problem as a question on the whiteboard. Then ask all of your brains to throw in their ideas. As a facilitator, keep the discussion focused on the topic. To ensure that people don't speak over one another, you can provide a talking stick which is passed around. Note down all the ideas and put them up for everyone to see. Remind people to add on to ideas. If Anne thinks of Let's build a cool umbrella. Jay can say, "Yes, and let's make it one that flies too." If someone did kill a good idea, the facilitator can always bring it back to life to throw it back on the table. At the end of the session, see if there are two ideas that can be combined. In brainstorming, the slogan is "One plus one equals three." Then let the team vote to know which are the most popular ones. You can now either start with another round of brainstorming to build on those ideas or if you are happy with the solution bring it to an end. Finally, record your best ideas so you don't lose them.
The nominal group technique. Explain the ground rules and present the problem. Then ask each person to write their ideas anonymously. Then collect the ideas and let the group vote on each idea. The top ranked ideas may be sent back to the participants or subgroups for further brainstorming. For example, one group may brainstorm on the form of a product, while the other focuses on the technical features. The group passing technique. Let people sit in a circle, explain the rules, and present the problem. Each person writes down one idea, and then passes the piece of paper to the next person, who adds some thoughts. This continues until everybody gets his or her original piece of paper back. By this time, it is likely that the group will have extensively elaborated on each idea. Let everyone explain their evolved idea and write each one up. You can then let the group vote. If you want to brainstorm by yourself, give it a try right now. At the end of this scene, we will present you with a problem. Once you get it, write five ideas in the comments below as fast as you can without much thinking. This unlocks your creativity and gets you part. Yeah, so we have seen about uh, the uh, brainstorming and ideas and we'll see what is prototype also so you've got an idea and you want to see what people think of it you need to make a prototype because you need to test that idea and see if it's actually a good idea or if you need to go back to the drawing board so to make a physical prototype you need to start with a sketch. You need to take that idea from your head down into pencil and paper. Doesn't matter if you can't draw, I can't personally, we need to get that idea out and onto something tangible. Then you're ready to start making a 3D model to make your physical prototype. So if you can't 3D model, that's actually not really a problem these days. You can find someone who can team up with them and get a basic model out, but don't spend too long on it because you need to get to the next stage fast. And that is making the actual prototype. So you can take a 3D model and convert it into a file for 3D printing very easily, leave it overnight and come back to an actual 3D print, which you can then test. And this is the most important part. You need to test it quickly and thoroughly, and then go back and iterate on your design and repeat this process till you're happy with it. But if you get further down the process and find out you need to change something, it's a lot more difficult. So don't be afraid of failure early on. You want to test things as much as possible and then iterate on that idea till you're happy with it. I'm an industrial designer and as an industrial designer, we're very interested in testing prototypes for a number of different reasons. Uh, and I've got some examples here of, of how we've run through projects. This is a pair of glasses we designed and the first prototype is a low quality FDM print, which is form deposition modeling. And we've done this to check the physical appearance and the scale of the uh, design. Once we're happy with that, we'll move to an uh, SLS so this is a select laser sintering made of nylon. And in this instance, people are actually wearing the glasses. So we're interested in how they flex and feel and how the lenses snap in and out. So it's more expensive, but a higher quality. We then want to check some of the mechanical function. So in this instance, we've gone to a SLA, a resin process with SLS hinges. And we're checking the uh, tolerance in between the parts and to make sure that the mechanical function's right. And we've then moved to a low quality prototype tool where we've injected actual polymers into the mold to check how the material affects the design. And finally, these are the final production glasses, which is again, injection molded, but in a high quality production tool and brings all the elements of the design together. Uh, really, when you're testing a prototype, you really want to test it to failure. You want to know where your design or idea doesn't work and not where it works. And often I'll see people test a prototype and say, isn't it great, it does all these things, but they're ignoring an inherent flaw which will bring you undone if you don't expose it early. In the boating scenario, that's making a boat and testing until it fails, working out you know, how many people can you put in it before. Yeah, this is one typical example of prototyping. So what the gentleman is telling is, you want to design a goggle, uh, and for that he did a prototype on uh, first is the 3D printing and he used low quality material. And second is he was using, uh, uh, second uh, is the material is high quality material. But then he is go for a functionality test and he was doing a lot of iterations and 
there can be a lot of breakages or failures will be there and once again they come back and they change or they correct it and before going for a mass productions see why i am telling on this perspective of prototyping is you know, each and every company has do this prototyping even uh, we also do in our company lot of prototyping we do before the uh, the tires is launched to the the industry or oem it goes or before coming to the customer and it goes for a lot of testing also the prototype product will go for a, a rigorous of a virtual testing and it will go for a physical testing also if you see a car in the road which is lot of black and white pasted stickers and that is basically a test vehicle and that could be also a prototype vehicle the prototype is nothing but it can be a miniature model of what you want to do or it can be a real prototype which is functional so it can be one is it is functional another is it's non functional it's very important that people when they have an idea convert as an idea as a soft form that's what the first gentleman was selling he is putting on a 3d model and a 3d model has got a lot of simulation once it is done this models will go for a prototype on a miniature prototype prototypes which will resemble or look like the similar one and next one is you will build the same one or it can be pilot productions or pilot lot the prototype from the uh, small size will go for a real model and it will go for simulation even a prototype on a smaller miniature form can also be tested today if you see that elon musk he was telling that he has already uploaded nearly 750 uh, round satellites to the space but before that you would have seen on his lab he has done lot of prototyping how a rocket should be there using this 3d printing technology in 3d printing technology there are two technology or multiple technologies coming one is sintered mechanism where the today you can able to make in metal also where it is sintering method and it will get molded and in one second is normally we used in other countries and india is also like a, a polymer pvc which is directly extruded and printed on top various technologies available even in tire mold in future they are not going to make molds in cnc machine because tire molds are very expensive and it's very very precise one uh, instead of that one they are going to make in the 3d printings which will be very easy because today the prototyping time is very very critical because when an ex company is telling i want to launch a car in six months the tire to be developed within three four months it's not easy to get a mold in three four months itself nowadays because in pro in prototyping or 3d modeling this kind of advanced technology we can able to make a mold within a week or five days or three days so this is an advantage these kind of prototypes today in the market so this is very critical that convert all your ideas to prototype then only you can able to test it because testing is very important the cap sizes trying to uh, drop test and break them so for us we uh, we build these things which are you know, smart helmets we destroyed heaps of them these are made um, 3d printing and cnc milling and we just got them out there test the user interfaces and destroy them often we miss the user experience of our products and a great way to get that out there is just to give your product as a prototype to lots of just regular people. They'll give you honest feedback, whether it all makes sense or not. Often when you're beginning your idea, you want to put all the greatest functions into it, but it's really about time and getting to market fast. What you need to do is draw all the functions and features that you have in your product, put red lines through the ones that don't have to be there in the first one and make it finished, not perfect. There's a first time for everything and we're still testing this series. If you could leave some comments and suggestions, it'd be really helpful for us to improve the program. So what is selling is the finally, it's the very fast you have to make the prototyping. It's not the hundred percent perfect, but it's a progress it's going to make. That's what I was talking on the starting also. So we will touch upon the critical thinking and design thinking uh, before concluding this topic. And you know, let us take on two verticals because uh, the college would have been given this topic in a very elaborate manner. I'm not going to take in very elaborate manner. The observation on the critical thinking is that you have to have a very sharp objectives, observations that are able to notice and predict the opportunity, problems and solutions. Because nowadays people will think on different perspectives, even a smallest problem. Imagine that when there is a big power outage in 2017 in Australia and the whole Australia is in dark uh, due to their network issue and uh, the transmission problems and Elon Musk has told that 
when people will say that we will send 100 engineers to restore the problem that's the way one people are thinking now other people tell that we will give fund now other people will think that we will help with our systems we will give you know in, internet connection but what elon musk is telling us that i will get a similar uh, quantity of power generation model which is solar or modular system and it is got a framework and is telling government please give me the contract i will give a solution within 100 days if not it's free that means what if we cannot able to deliver that project in 100 days the project government will not pay see the aggression see the obsession see the courage is telling determination is telling in 100 days he is able to give the project that's the way the observation he has got everybody sees in different different perspective and format but he see in a very typical solution that this problem is been eliminated not reduced analysis analysis is it's, it's also very important in gathering lot of inputs from the observation you should know what i should gather it's like if the people are going and finding what do you say there is one typical story i can tell for this one everybody would have been heard about it there was a engine in a ship got broke not functioning and every they call many of the technicians or the marine experts marine engineers but they could not able to solve it finally they told one gentleman very old man is there he can able to fix this problem and they called him and he can able to fix it because he came and he told the switch on the engine and he tapped on the valve area and the engine started running and everybody is asking oh what is this you are done because he know where is a problem he did an analysis before doing it that's what einstein is telling i will define the problem 9 out of 1 hour 55 minutes and solution will come in 5 minutes it's basically analysis is important you can use various tool for analysis you can use to brainstorming why way analysis four forum analysis and uh, dmac is also there today six sigma various tools are available for analysis analysis has got tremendous tools to do it today even there are lot of simulation software avail available to analyze analyze the problems today and from this is important to get an inference what we are going to conclude it where is my narrow down path i got now a biggest mind mapping analysis path done and which is my crucial steps where i am going to have a problem and where i am going to solve it hey, habibi come to mohammad sadak college communication so communication is the sharing what you got with others in a verbally non verbally and you can arrive at a solution with i am also tell that that i got this big problems this is what we are going to do it etc in writings and the problem solving will happen by getting all this analysis communication information identity trouble shootings everything you put together and you come for some inference that inference is the final part where you will get a solution from here that you narrow down and you are pin down to the all these problems and ideations that is happening here when you go to our design thinking it's an an another method of uh, having our thinking on a way that is empathize you define a problem ideate we spoke about prototype we spoke about testing also already told that how the testing is happening you would have seen automobile car which is got striped and black color the things will be moving around so what is meant by empathize empathize is nothing but you are putting your observations and emotionally you are connecting with the problem if you don't em 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 empathize if you don't emotionally connect with the problems it's a first step you will not able to move i can tell you one word emotion is very important in empathizing and empathizing is nothing but first understanding the problem or anything putting your head and heart not only on a head you have to have your heart also who is telling this problem how it is getting observed and you have an entry with him you take the motor in a very personal level that person you are connecting getting it and you empathize him and you get all the inputs in in a multiple way it can be a demographic problem it can be psychographic problem and this empathize will give you demographic problem and psychographic problem demography is nothing but what is our space we are living in india america china but psychography is what type of people you are i am a lover of apple iphone i am a lover of uh, google 
phone. What is your sort of, I don't always use Maruti car. I use only Hyundai car. That is where the people have got their own personal touch. So unless you understand that, why this guy is always telling that he want only Ferrari, why he want only BMW, he has got an uh, flower to it, that one. So that when you empathize it, you not you then you can it's touch along with the people. Then you of course defining the problem, which is what very elaborately explained by many, and I also done in a lot of explanations. Defining the problem is very very important. That's what Einstein telling. 25 per, I mean 55, 55 per minutes of a time of one hour, basically selling 90 percent of your time to be spent on defining the problem. The rest of all will be a cakewalk. This is also the one of the important methods followed by. Japanese, Japanese spend more time on, if you see, planning and execution will be very, very less. If you see here, up to empathize, define and ideate is all in the planning phase and prototype and testing is on execution phase. You have to spend mostly 85 to 90 percent of your time on this three stages. The ideation process, we are completely gone through. Ideate with many process. Don't if anybody is telling your idea is stupid, don't worry about it because many of the solutions will come from stupid ideas. I will tell one story. It may be an, a mythical story, but still, there was a debate going on in a Western country when there was ice creams were served in cups, not in the cone or the uh, eatable cones. So there's debates and ideations happening, brainstorming happening. Everybody was telling and that gentleman was there sitting there he got irritated and he got crazy and uh, it became very time he, he could not able to sit more time he said what this bloody let them eat the cups that's what he told what this bloody let them eat the cups so that idea was also captured when they evaluated somebody told let them eat the cups if i'm having this cup to have an ice cream if i'm having this cup to you know have a uh, drinks or whatever maybe. Can I eat these cups? Then the process, anybody will say, hey, are you crazy? How we can eat a cups? It can be paper cups, it can be plastic cups, it can be steel cups. How can we eat the cups? Somebody told in this group, no, capture the idea. The idea is very good. Work on the idea. Then it became an eatable cups. The eatable cups is nothing but a cone and it revolutionized. Imagine that if all the ice creams in olden days or now also, if this ice cream cone is not there, how much the world will become filthy and how much littering will happen. What an innovation on this one. This is how a crazy idea will get converted as a prototype and get tested. So before I end up on my last note, I take this words as a one thing. Take up one idea. If you may be on whichever the college state you are, make one idea in life you have to think about, dream on it, live on that idea. Let the brain, muscle, nerves, every part of your body full of that idea and just leave every other idea alone. That's a way of success. That's what one idea. Work on, work on, work on. Never ever give up that idea. It sounds crazy, let it be. Prove on your life, this will be one of your great success to convert your problem to a you know, thought, to an idea and become a prototype and become a success story. Congratulations, everyone, and all the best for your exams happening now or is going to happen or for a completion of uh, your, your graduations. And I'm welcome for the question now. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Simon, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, it's been a very good wonderful lecture. Dear students, if you have any doubts, please. Uh, Put it in the chat box or send your mic and ask your questions. If you don't want to ask, please put it in the chat box also. Not able to understand your mind, please type the text in the chat box. We will see. We will give the answer for that also.
okay then and fill the feedback form i think uh, you are all satisfied with that uh, the explanation and the uh, Yeah. So thank you so much. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank, thank you for this. Yeah. Thank you for this offer. Thank, thank you, sir. Uh, so on this occasion, uh, on behalf of Mohammad Sadiq Ajay College of Engineering and the Department of Mechanical Engineering, I would like to thank uh, the management, principal, and the uh, head research, head administration, head technology center, and head academics for uh, giving this opportunity and for the continuous support for doing these types of programs uh, for the. Uh, yeah. enhancement of the students knowledge and to explore the latest ideas uh, need uh, for the future so today is a very good uh, session i would like to thank uh, mr palani sir uh, for a very good and in depth uh, lecture on what is ideas and what is the problem how to solve the problem how to define the problem where is the solution uh, who is going to success Uh, and the last slide from the way on the uh, our whole uh, mind and body is focused to where uh, the idea what we have so it is a nice and wonderful sir uh, thank you so much uh, for giving valuable time for our students to make a spark on their mind how to get an idea thank you so much sir thank you thank you for your uh, thank you sir thank you very much i would like to thank uh, all the faculty members my dear students and their uh, heads who are all cooperate and uh, and that attend this program thank you so much thank you once again thank you thank you sir thank i make mean, it yeah i like that uh, think and think sir because many times no what we think we will forget uh, if we don't uh, that is a nice word sir i, I really it's a surprise think it and think it <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you, sir. you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Dear students, uh, the feedback link is in the chat box. You can fill the feedback link. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Ah, uh, recording. Ah, uh, for you, sir. Ah. Uh.